Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BJ Tech News, and today, guys, I'm going to show you how to configure your Broadcade 7131 access point as well as show you guys how to upgrade it to get to the current firmware. Now, I'm going to plug in my access point into uh, the first port, which is PoE. Uh, it's actually the access point is connected to my controller, which is the RF4000 from Broadcade. I'm actually using TerraTerm to console in. I like using the program, been using it for years. I'm going to go to serial port, make sure it's 192.0.0, comp 1, press OK. And as you can see, it's loading up. Uh, give it some time for it to load up, test, you know, do the post ups and good post up tests and all that good stuff. Uh, I already pre downloaded the bin files from the Brocade site. Uh, the version that I'm running on this access point, the reason that I know that. The version is because I've already configured five of them and all of them are running 3.2 and I need to upgrade 3.2 to 4.0 and then 4.0 to 5.1 so that's the order that you need to do it um, best practice is when you get your controller and your access point check the version or the firmware that you have on the controller as well as access points uh, go to the site find the latest firmware Download it, upgrade your controller, and then upgrade your access point to be on the same, um, you know, in the same firmware, so everything can talk together correctly and work together correctly. Now, to update these firm, um, to update the access points, you need to have a TFTP. I downloaded TFTP D64, which is a free app. Uh, it actually makes my physical machine that I'm doing the consoling. Uh, it creates it makes it a, a TFTP so I'm gonna browse to where those two bin files are at because I, I need to broadcast that stuff and that's done okay this is still loading which is a good thing and once it loads up I'm gonna press enter there we go now I already changed the password on this guy but the default password for this would be admin123. Once you put the password of admin123, uh, it's going to want you to put a new password. You put the new password, confirm it, and then you're good to go. Okay. But by default, when you take out these access points, the Broadcase 7131s out of the box, the default password uh, is admin123, and the username is admin. Okay. So. Uh, from the command prompt, I want to do a network. I want to get into the LAN. And uh, the first thing to do is we need to set up an IP mode of 1, and it's going to be a static. Okay, static IP. Okay, uh, I basically want to assign an IP address to this access point. So we're going to do a set IPADR1, because uh, that's the first slot. And then the IP address that you have, which uh, I'm giving it this one, hit enter. And then you want to do a save. Make sure that you save all that information. And what I like to do is go to my start and go to my command prompt. And within my command prompt, uh, let's do a ping of 192.168.168.250. Let's see if I can ping it. So that's a good thing. I'm able to ping that device. It's a good thing. So let's hit enter. Uh, let's do a dot dot so we can go back. Go back here. And it's time to do the firmware. Now if you want to check if your IP address is locked, do a summary. And oh, let me see. There it goes. Okay. So let's do the firmware. So we're going to do system fw dash update. And we need to set the server, the FTP server. So the FTP server right here would be 192.168.168.92. Then we need to set the file. And remember, the first file that we want to do is this guy right here. So we're going to copy that and paste it and hit enter. And then we're going to do a save. Okay. Once that's saved, I am going to do a show, and as you can see, it has uh, the BIM that I wanted to push out, and then the the F the TFTP uh, server IP. 
Okay. So the next thing that you do is you want to do an update. TFTP. Hit enter. And if everything works well, you should get this little dialog box right here that the file is being processed and it's starting to download the script. Uh, sometimes you probably have issues if you're running a TFTP locally onto your machine, the machine that's constantly into the access point to configure it. Make sure that you disable your firewall because the firewall does play a role. Or if you don't want to disable the firewall, make sure that you allow the TFTP to um, go through your firewall, that you, you, know, you trust it. Okay, so we are back. It, it takes a while for it to go through the process of upgrading uh, the firmware but as you can see it looks like we are at 4.1.4.0 so that's cool so we need to do one last um, firmware update so to do that we're gonna log in log into the password that you gave it hopefully I can remember lines okay we need to do the same thing we need to get into the system uh, FW update uh, we don't need to set the server because the server is already set, but we do need to set the file. So let's set the file, give it the exact name that it has, plus with the extension of bin. Hit enter and make sure you do a save. And if you want, if you take, if you want to do the, if you're very precautious and you want to just check if it actually is there, do a summary command. Oh, sorry, uh, let's show. There it goes. So it's stuck, and you want to do is update TFTP, hit enter, and if everything goes well, you should get this dialog box again, updating itself. And we are back. It looks like it's fully upgraded, which is a good thing. Let's log in. Use the password that you guys set up in the beginning. And uh, I'm going to do a question mark, and as you can see, the command has expanded a whole lot, which I'm really excited about that. Uh, and that's about it. That's how you guys upgrade your uh, Brocade Access Point 7131 series and also uh, configure it with an IP address. Most likely it's already connected to our controller. So the controller already has a profile for the 7131. So that profile is being shot to it. It's already configured for us, and hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Please comment. Please give me thumbs up. Please Twitter, Facebook. Go check me out on Facebook. Show me some love there. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, as well as at the bottom of the description, I have all the information the way you guys can find me, my blog site, my Twitter, my Facebook. Uh, I just not too long ago started a photo. So uh, check me out, guys, as well as my Google Plus stuff is there. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace out! Oh, oh, oh.